Hi, this is Richard from Wadev's team. Product add-on is the latest addition in the rich module collection of Doken. Today I will show. Set up your product add-on module. How product add-on works. How vendors can create product add-ons. Creating add-ons for individual products. So let's start. First, you need to go to module page. Then enable product add-on. Now go to plugin page. Activate WooCommerce product add-ons. Go to the product. Click on the add-on. Create new add-ons. You need to add name, priority, product categories. For more options, click on the add fields button. Here you'll find fields like Multiple choices shows a list of options the user can choose from. Checkbox option shows a checkbox that can be ticked or unticked by a customer. In short text there are five inbuilt types. This shows a text field where users can enter either any text, just letters, just numbers, both, or an email address only. Long text option shows a text field where users can write multiple lines of text, character limit possible. File Upload option allows users to upload a file. Customer Defined Price shows a field where users can enter a numerical value that is added to the product price. Quantity shows a spinner where users can input a number. In Heading section you can add a heading between add-ons to group them into sections. You can display as. Show the list of types as drop-downs. You can also show them as radio buttons. Images, similarly, showing as images option is available as well. Format the title as a label or heading, or hide it. Add a description, displays more information about the add-on underneath the heading. Required field, prevents product from being added to cart if an option is not selected. Options, add a label for each option as well as a price if needed. Calculate the price as flat free, quantity based or percentage based. If you're done, click the Publish button to finish creating your add-ons. Now that you have successfully created an add-on, let's see how it works. Go to your front-end dashboard and click on Products. Hit the Edit option on any of the products. Then, save the settings of your products. Click on View Product. Now you can successfully add add-in for your product. That is how product add-on works. So far we have seen how to create product add-ons and use it. But that is from an admin's point of view. Now, let's see how a vendor can create product add-ons. Go to the vendor dashboard. Click on settings. Now click on Add-ons. After that, click the Create New Add-on. Now, the vendor will get all the options previously discussed for creating product add-on. Hitting Publish is all you need to finalize things. Go to the Products section. Edit any product. Click on View Product. Now you can see the add-on working successfully. That's it for vendor creating product add-on. So far, the add-ons we created were global add-ons. That means they'd be applicable to all the products. But there is an option for creating add-ons for an individual product as well. To do that, just go to the edit page of the product. Then scroll down. There you will find the add-on option. Edit those options to make an individual add-on for that particular product. Tick mark the exclude add-ons box. It's important for individual product add-on. Hit the save product. Individual product add-on working perfectly. So why wait? Expand your selling opportunities with Doken product add-on. Go grab your module now.